Hey everyone, welcome back to Loud Quiet Vids. We're here today to talk about the movies of 2021 with the Oscars coming up. Writing a uh, original screenplay, I think Don't Look Up is gonna win. Um, I don't have much of a reason for saying that. Just kind just of a off gut a hunch. feeling. Yeah, <laughs> just kind of a, a gut feeling. Pick just a lot of stuff up from what has been happening to us in the last few years. Um, and then taking all of that and jamming it into a movie. Hey About Steven, do you know world. what it was an allegory for? Do you know? I didn't hate it as much as Dan, but I could understand people being annoyed by, by it. But I guess I would give it to King Richard out of Don't Look Up and King Richard, because those are the only two movies I've seen. <laughs> uh, I think Belfast is going to win. A uh, real gut feeling here. Uh, just because I think out of all the films nominated, Belfast seems to have the most successful Oscar campaign. And I've seen so many Oscar tag voters like sing their praises for it, even though it's not exactly the biggest critical hit. As far as what I would personally vote for, it's a toss up between Licorice Pizza and the worst person in the world. Uh, if I had to choose right now, I would say I'm going with worst person in the world. Just kind of condense the entire millennial experience into a little over two hours. Uh, you two haven't seen it, right? No, not yet. I don't want to though. It's great. Cool. One of my favorites. I've only seen King Gretchard and Don't Look Up. I So out of those two, I would give a writing award to King Gretchard. I didn't expect to like that movie as much as I did because I, I feel like I was more excited to see like a story focused on Venus and Serena versus a story focused on their father. But the when I finally understood like what an impact he had on their career and like his parenting style, I really loved the whole story um so that's that would be my pick um but just based off of what i've heard i think it could possibly go to licorice pizza uh best adapted screenplay uh i think it's gonna go to power the dog uh just because that seems to be the critical darling and the one that most people are predicting will sweep the oscars so yeah uh as far as like what will what i think should win uh, give it to Drive My Car. Three hours, uh, very like deep, emotional. <laughs> uh, you had to turn it off, right? Midway well, through. Well, not because it was too emotional because draining, just because we watched West Side Story and Drive My Car two in a row and it was just getting too... We were late just to getting tired, too. I think. And like so much of the film relies on the writing, like being absorbed with the monologues and... Uh, so many characters are storytellers, and including uh, the married couple in the beginning. Not to get into spoilers, but they keep their marriage afloat because the wife tells the husband stories while having sex, and then he recounts it to her because, I don't know, for some reason, post-nut clarity kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. makes her forget, and he has to remind her. <laughs> <laughs> it works in the movie, but yeah, that's who I'd give it to. I, I would agree with Drive My Car. Uh, I I don't know, this movie, it was- That, like that should win or- I think would... should, and I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that's my prediction too. Okay, interesting. Um, I just, I just thought it was so clever. Like, it was so interesting. And then it all just ties in so well. If it was such a long script like this, um, everything kind of made sense and added up and that's, I feel like such a challenge with writing and it was just done so well. So, you know, hopefully, but I, I'm going to say that's my prediction. So, um, okay, I'll do adapted screenplay quickly. Um, so I agree with Dan that I think Power of the Dog is going to be the darling of the Academy and sweep a bunch, but I feel like they're going to know that going in. So they're going to give best adapted screenplay play to The Lost Daughter because I feel like that's another one that's kind of like um, a lot of people are are praising it for different reasons, and I think a lot of people um, want to see it win something. So I think the Academy is going to be like, oh, all right, we're going to give Power of the Dog a bunch of these, but we'll give Lost Daughter this. And I also want Drive My Car to win. Um, again, this movie is uh, an international movie, obviously, unless any um, unless you know Japanese, you have to. Well, there's quite a few languages spoken. In the yeah, mm -hmm. right. Um, but. Yeah, unless you know, you know, Japanese or sign language in Korean or... Or Korean or Mandarin. Or, or Mandarin. <laughs> and then, there is a couple English scenes too. Yeah, um, then you're going to have to, you know, be hyper-focused on, you know, reading the subtitles. Um, 
and there's so much dialogue in it that you have to really be invested in it. And the fact that it maintained um, all of our focuses to the point where, you know, we were really invested in all this dialogue and so much of the dialogue kept coming back and back and back. <laughs> um, and the fact that we were still invested in, I think says a lot about, about the script um, that we were able to follow along would it in that way um and you know i just think it's a really compelling story um and if you just you know read the synopsis then you wouldn't think it would be that compelling but just the way that you know um one of the characters voices is just heard throughout it th throughout it even when you think you're not going to hear from them anymore um and i think you know every um supporting character and main character plays a huge purpose in telling telling the story and i you know i just think that you know it's a really well done story that um that all really all the dialogue that is written in a three hour long foreign film just really um entertained me throughout all right so we want to know what you guys think what were your favorites from last year and what are your predictions what are your least favorites what shouldn't have been on here we'll see you next time <laughs>